small business has gotten hammered with the coronavirus shutdown, hasn't it, Daniel? Well, Dave, it has. And, uh, you know, the thing I want to tell people is just what you're hearing in the headlines certainly is rough for those that this has affected. And at the same time, I've been talking with dozens of small business owners over the last couple of weeks, and there's really three categories of business right now. There's there's businesses who are actually trying to figure out how to scale up to this opportunity. You know, uh, my dad's got a water business in West Texas, and they had record sales last week Why? Uh, if you're in a cleaning so well they they have a drinking water that's a tap at the sink and people don't want to go to the store and buy a bottle of water right now so for oh. whatever reason they're going hey let's get this okay. installed in our house if yeah, he's, a, a, he's a connecticut dealer right uh, it's a colic and water conditioning Col- yeah. okay mm-hmm. okay um cleaning services it services uh anything that has to do with working from home anything that has to do with i went to my favorite local burger place today and they said Hey, we're we're not doing the dining room thing, but our kitchen is slammed, and we got calls, and we're running them out to the car, and we're actually trying to find some some cooks right now, some help mm-hmm. because we got to fulfill the demand. And so there's been a huge disruption, but there are businesses who are actually trying to they're booming, they're booming and exploding, and and they're there's hiring. Other ones right are now. shut down, and that we all that think are of down. The restaurants right. are down. A and lot then of them. I'm going to tell you that uh, just in my my non formal survey and talking to my friends and people in our entree leadership community, there's this this group in the middle between booming and shutting down that they're just adapting and responding. They're shifting how they're doing business. You know, I talked to a friend last night whose company, uh, they teach music lessons to students. They have uh, music instructors and kids come into their studio and they're just doing it virtually now. They're figuring it out. And what I love about business owners and entrepreneurs is they are they are problem solvers by nature and they're not just going to take two weeks off they're not just going to lay back and say well let's just see when this this passes and, and then we'll get back to work they're figuring out how to continue work continue communicating with the team as best they can in light of these circumstances and ken when it comes to getting a job what that spells is opportunity that's absolutely right your crisis what, equals yeah. opportunity here yeah you're looking at your priorities right now and if you've been laid off or you feel you're going to get laid off you need to be identifying companies that daniel's talking about that are ramping up right now because of the increased demand and uh you're going to see a lot of opportunities for hourly jobs that can supplement the income take care of the four walls that you teach during this time of uncertainty and then as the economy comes back you know i, I had a guy call on my show today he's in the uh, automobile industry he said, Ken, I, I'm going to be laid off uh, tomorrow, uh, on Friday. And he said, but I'm pretty assured, my leadership told me it's probably two to three months max, I'm coming back. Two so to three months? what they said. Now, you know, every situation is different, but he's going, what do I do in, the fir- in those next two to three months? And I said, whatever it takes. If it's two, three jobs, you know, it's the same type of gazelle intensity when you're trying to get out of debt. That what we do right now is we go, let's take care of the four walls, but there is opportunity. Heard a story today in Nashville. Guys and gals that are running food trucks that really rely on foot traffic in Nashville, okay? This is a heavy tourism city um, and they have now gotten themselves into the food delivery business where you know organizations that are staying open or mm-hmm. uh, those that are shut in if you will need food and they have adapted and so the entrepreneurial spirit is very much alive and you know I remember talking a long time ago to Bobby Grunewald who's a mutual friend of all three of ours a great innovator he said you know when you have a lack of resources and those resources right now could be customers actually buying your product mm-hmm. and, and so things have been shrunk that's where great innovation happens because you don't have any choice but to innovate. And so I think as leaders, if we cannot be afraid right now and we can be clear on here's where we stand now, here's what we do know, here's what we don't know, let's communicate to our our team, let's communicate to our tribe, and let's roll our sleeves up and figure out a way. Good things will happen. Yeah, and Dave, what Ken is saying essentially is when you combine capitalism and entrepreneurs in America... And you go, the economy is getting suppressed. What, what happens is it's like a beach ball that you hold underwater. That beach ball's coming back up. Yeah. You hold underwater for a week, two weeks, three weeks. Now, if this administration ties it in chains and ties it to a boat anchor, we got a different problem, right? But we're coming back to work. And what entrepreneurs are doing right now is they're getting ready. Yeah. They're adapting. They're catching. They got a little free time. So they're catching up on some stuff that was more administrative, getting their documentation updated. They're getting ready to come back and surge back once all this crap kind of moves on and, and we can get back to business. Yeah. Yeah. It's what you said earlier, Daniel, was really important. What business what small business does by its very nature the dna of small business people is they're problem solvers that's right and uh some of them have astronomical uh intimidating problems in front of them right Mm -hmm. now and um some of them are 
their hearts are breaking because they're having to lay off people that they love. They can't Mm -hmm. pay the bill. They can't because they don't have the revenue right now. They, and, and it just rips the, rips the heart out of your chest when you're an employer Mm -hmm. and you can't keep your folk because, uh, someone just said, okay, we're shutting the whole thing down. What do you mean you're shutting the whole thing down? We're shutting the whole thing down. What about these families that depend on us to eat? What about their kids? You know, that's where we buy their food. That's where they buy their electricity. What about that? doesn't matter. We're shutting the whole thing down. And uh, so, yeah, and so a lot of entrepreneurs are finding themselves, small business people are finding themselves in this. So here's some interesting numbers to think through for a second, for those of you out there. 54% of the gross domestic product is produced with goods and services by small businesses that have less than 500 team members, and they are in jeopardy right now. 54% of our entire economy is on the bubble mm-hmm. right this second because of sh- because you just shut them down. And uh, I understand why you shut them down. I understand about I know I understand I heard there's a thing called the coronavirus. I know this happened, okay? Uh, but the unemployment numbers and the job loss has skyrocketed. Now here's the deal. The GDP of the United States, the gross domestic product of the United States is right around twenty trillion dollars. Washington just passed a bill to stimulate the economy for two trillion dollars. Everybody following this? Well, percentage of twenty is two. Ten percent. Mm. So this is like your grown daughter calling you. She's thirty years old and you're sixty five, and she says, Oh no, oh no, I lost my job. And you say, Okay, I'm gonna pay your bills for one month. So what's she gonna do after that? Yeah, you're squirting a forest fire with a, a squirt gun. Yep. Right. I mean, that's not going to be the solution. That wasn't what I said. I said it's like peeing on a forest fire. <laughs> it's about as useful. <laughs> that doesn't smell as good. It's about as useful. And uh, so, you mean, when, when, you, when, you affect, when you affect a mathematical problem by 10%, you didn't affect the mathematical problem. That's right. That's right. And so, people not working is going to cause great pain in America. So, we're with you, small business people. We're, we're on your team. We're one of you. And we're going to talk about it this hour on the Dave Ramsey Show. 